Hi lovelies! As the weather outside is getting cooler, things in my kitchen are just heating up. And today we are celebrating the arrival of soup season with one of my very favorite soups, potato leek soup. Now this is one of those soups that I find people always tend to order at restaurants, but are really reluctant to make at home themselves. And it's such a shame because it's rich, creamy, perfectly comforting, and it's so easy to make. So if you've never worked with leeks before, this is how they come, usually in bunches of say three or four. I'm using three in today's recipe. And basically the first step here is just going to be cutting off this sort of dark green top. So this part is not super delicious. You can use it for things like soup stocks. It's still got a really nice oniony flavor, but it doesn't have a great texture. So it's not something that you'd wanna put in one of your recipes. So we'll cut that off. And then we're also just gonna cut off the root end. So that's the end that sort of holds it all together. Now what I like to do is to cut my leek in half like this. And what you'll notice immediately is that it's got a lot of layers in here. And what happens is that a lot of dirt can get stuck in those layers while your leeks are growing. So it's important to wash your leeks really, really well. Otherwise they can be a bit sandy or dirty and you definitely don't want a sandy texture in your soup. So I like to just cut it into slices like this and then what I do is just place all of my leek in a colander and run it under some cold water to help get rid of any of that sandiness. And that's it, easy breezy. We'll just get this into a colander and get it rinsed up. So to get started for this soup, I have got a nice big soup pot heating up over medium high heat on the stove. To my soup pot, I'm gonna go ahead and add some butter and I'm just gonna let that butter melt down. If you don't wanna use butter in this recipe, you could definitely use some oil here instead, but I think butter adds a nice flavor to this. Now, just as soon as that butter is nice and melted, I'm gonna go ahead and add my leeks to the pot. You can see it's gonna look like a lot of leek at first, but what happens, just like spinach or kale, it's going to wilt down and sort of reduce in volume by about half. I like to salt my leeks at this point while they're sort of working themselves out in that nice butter bath. I also like to give this a little hit of pepper as well. And I'm just gonna let my leeks cook until they're nice and soft. Usually that takes about three to five minutes. Okay, so my leeks have really reduced in volume. They've softened up and they smell so delicious. Next, it's time to add more great flavor to this and we're gonna do that with some garlic. So I've got two large cloves of garlic that I've minced here. Add a little more garlic, a little less garlic, just depends on your preference. Once that garlic's become nice and fragrant, it's time to get in here with our potatoes. So I've got about three large Yukon Gold potatoes. You could use white potatoes in this recipe, totally up to you. And I'm just gonna get them right in the pot and then I'm going to cover them with some broth. So I'm opting for chicken broth in this recipe because I think it really has the best flavor. If you wanted to keep this vegetarian, you definitely could using some veggie broth as instead, that's totally up to you. Once my broth is in the pot, I wanna add even more great flavor to this, and I'm going to be doing that with some nice fresh herbs. So I've got a few sprigs of fresh thyme headed in here, as well as a fresh bay leaf. If you only have dried herbs on hand, you can definitely use those in a pinch, not a problem at all. I just prefer fresh because I think you get a really nice flavor and of course a nice aroma from them as well. At this point, we just wanna bring this mixture to a nice rolling boil. And as soon as it's reached a boil, I'm gonna go ahead and reduce my heat to medium, pop a lid on my pot and let this simmer away for 10 to 15 minutes or just until my potatoes are really nice and tender. Just as soon as those potatoes are fully cooked through, we can put the finishing touches on this really yummy soup. So the first step is going to be removing the sprigs of thyme and the bay leaf from the pot because they have done their work. Next, it's time to puree our soup to give it that really smooth velvety texture that leek and potato soup is so well known for. I like to do this using an immersion blender. Now, if you don't have an immersion blender, it's definitely one of those kitchen tools that I think comes in really, really handy. You can find one pretty affordably on Amazon. I'll link one in the description box below if you don't have one on hand already. And what I like to do is reduce the heat on my stove to low so it's no longer sort of bubbling. And then I just go in with my immersion blender, making sure to keep it fully submerged so that we're being safe and nothing splashes back. 
and then just blend away. You'll notice in about 30 seconds to a minute, your soup is completely blended and what you're left with is just the most gorgeous texture. Now at this point, just to finish this soup off, I'm going to add a good splash of cream to this to make it even more rich. And of course, I'll season it again with salt and pepper to taste. Seriously guys, that is it. This is one of those recipes that's so easy to prepare, but the flavor is absolutely incredible. And of course, that creamy texture can't be beat. I really hope you will give this soup a try for yourselves. And if you do, be sure to tweet me, Instagram me, or Facebook me a photo, because I always love seeing your kitchen creations. This recipe, like all of my recipes, can be found on healthymealplans.com, our amazing meal planning site that allows you to browse more than a thousand recipes drag and drop them into your weekly meal plan and then automatically generates your grocery list for the week. Thank you guys as always so much for watching. And finally, if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe because there's lots more deliciousness where this came from.